The MGR-252 Detachment Bravo out here for Operation Enduring Freedom in Kandahar, Afghanistan is comprised of, of two squadrons at this point. Since we've been here, we've been made up of all three active duty squadrons for the VM, from the VMGR community. We had VMGR-352 originally providing the Harvest Hawk asset and the air crew, VMGR-252, as well as uh, VMGR-152 providing the remainder of the aircraft. So what we do out here is we meet, the, meet all aspects of the VMGR mission which basically is providing air refueling and assault support to the MAGTAF commander in all weather conditions, day or night, and for joint combined expeditionary operations. One of the things that TAF has said from the beginning is one team, one fight. It doesn't matter what it is, it doesn't matter what the task is, it's one team, one fight. If we're filling sandbags, we yeah. say it's one team, one fight. If we're trying to get a plane ready to get it out the door, it's one team, one fight. It doesn't matter what it is, we're all focused on getting those planes up because we know what that means. We know if we can get a plane up for an AR, it means the Harrier can stay up longer, it means the Marine on the ground gets more support. If we can get the Harvest Hawk launched, it means that that Harvest Hawk is overwatch for a Marine on the ground, he's using a camera, and he's using some Hellfires and some Griffin missiles to make sure those Marines on the ground are doing well. If we can get a cargo bird up, we know that we're helping move troops around the battlefield. Doesn't matter what it is, from the most menial task all the way up to launching airplanes and, and firing a missile. We say to each other, one team, one fight, and that's been a motto that's been top goals that we've adopted since we've been out here. K for the KC-130 identi identifies it as a tanker, just like you'll see a KC-10, KC-135. If it has a K in front of it, identifies us as a tanker. The primary mission of our squadron is air refueling. What we do now is we're supporting the Harriers. We've been supporting the Harriers that were out here first from 3rd Maw. Now we have Harriers out here from 2nd Maw. And what we do is we try to increase their on-station time. The Harriers are in direct support of the Marines on the ground. We're in direct support of those Harriers. So what we are trying to do is help the Harrier Squadron who's providing overhead watch for the Marines on the ground with the ability to stay airborne by basically coming up and attaching to our aircraft via a hose and uh, we pass fuel to them in order to keep them airborne. And that's what we do in the Marine Corps and Marine Aviation. And that's what sets us apart as a MAGTAF from, from other units, other services. Battlefield illumination is one way that, that we integrate very well with the ground combat element as well as the aviation combat element. What it provides is the opportunity to take nighttime and provide light cover. Uh, we can do that by either overt or covert means, meaning that flares that you can see or flares that you can only see on goggles. Depending on whether the ground commander needs it to cover an ingress or egress or just light up a certain area or whether or not one of the, one of the ace commanders needs it in order to cover an insert or extraction, battlefield, battlefield illumination allows us to kick some flares out of the back of the aircraft and uh, we set what altitude we want them to burn, burn at, to ignite at, and uh, they will burn for a designated period of time and, and provide them the, the cover they need. Um, what we can do is we plan to it, depending on how much light cover they need is, is what will determine how many flares we kick out, and depending on how long they need that light cover is also something that will determine how many flares we kick out. Since I've been here in, uh, in August, we took over August 1st, we've kicked out over 3,000 flares out of the back of this aircraft. Aerial delivery is the delivery, by aerial means obviously, of anything that uh, can range from small gear to personnel to vehicles. What we predominantly do out here is aerial delivery of supplies for some of our units that we need to be able to reach at FOBs. And uh, we, that is one of our, our missions as well, one of the missions that we train to, one of the mission essential tasks that we train to prior to coming out here. Close air support, what we call CAS, is a new capability to the KC-130 community. And if you had talked to Herc pilots or Herc air crew five, 10, maybe even two years ago and told them that we were gonna be doing CAS, they would have told you you were crazy. This platform is ideal for what it's equipped with and, and what it's tasked to do out here. Part of why it's ideal is because of the on-station time that this platform has. With the fuel that we can carry, with the number of missiles that we can carry, with the dedicated air crew that we have operating this aircraft, there is no limit to this, to this Harvest Hawk. What we've done since we've been here is every crew that's come out here since last October when it was just a proof of concept until today has continued to make the Harvest Hawk platform better. They have added new capabilities to it. They've just come up with different uh, TTPs in order to to use the Harvest Hawk platform better. There are techniques, tactics, and procedures in order to use the platform better. So the Marines on the ground, as well as our coalition partners, have grown very fond of the Harvest Hawk platform. They have become a by name request when they're checking in on station for close air support. I think standard cargo runs and log runs are extremely important. Uh, part of what it does is we help commanders get around theater, helping commanders see the battle space, helping commanders talk to their people, helping commanders reach their troops is another thing that, that happens. Um, this sounds small, but also 
Uh, mail is important. Um, it improves morale during the holiday season, being able to uh, deliver certain packages. Also being able to deliver time critical packages, whether it helps with uh, processing intelligence or, or processing uh, just other, other uh, means of uh, communication. Doing the standard cargo and log run, knowing that there's a predictable schedule that, that commanders and troops can get around theater has been extremely important to help the, the wing and help the MEF and help ISAF be effective. The mission of v the VMGR community out here, the mission of VMGR and OEF is essential and it's significantly important because it's contributing to the day-to-day -day tasks and the day-to-day -day missions of not only the Wing Forward, the MEF Forward, but also the International Security Assistance Force. We provide cargo and log runs in support of ISAF, as well as in support of SECAMAW, as well as in support of 2 MEF. Tying that into what has been successful for us out here, one of the mottos that Master Sergeant Cole, our senior enlisted out here, our detachment sergeant major has said from the very beginning is one team, one fight. One team, one fight. And that not only not only are we living that here in the VMGR detachment, but the wing and the MEF forward are also living that. So a lot of times our tasks will be the MOF forward will task us. They will task us in support of our coalition partners. They will task us in support of the greater ISAF. The, MOF, the MEF forward, same thing. It's one team, one fight. If we're successful, then we can help the wing forward be successful. If the wing forward is successful, it's helping the MEF forward be successful, which is helping the overall ISAF Joint Command be successful. So one team, one fight. That's why every day, whether it's the most menial task that we're doing in the squadron in order to keep us going, or it's launching an aircraft and launching a missile, everybody is committed to that one, one team, one fight motto.